Aru got a new video called the Isekai that finally understood the assignment. Wrong way to use healing magic, right? We've been watching it. It's been pretty damn good. Let's see what he has to say. So how are you going to start off the video after you say that the Isekai understood the assignment with the girl gushing over abs? Now, this is reverse fan service, so I guess it's a little bit more <laughs> acceptable. Without consent, by the way. She lifted this shit. This is good. She did this shit without consent anyways, but I do agree. This anime is good. Believe it or not, this is the best browser on the internet. Raid Shadow Legend. Please use a discount code at hashtag Karu for your first tenpole on Raid Shadow Legends. Sponsoring this video. It's Opera GX. Isekai is a genre that gets a lot of bad rap. Historically, it's been called lazy, low mm. effort, a cash grab, all negative words that I come- All true. I agree. I think these are all true, and let me explain to you why. Isekai, I'm not sure when it started popping off. Now, we are watching Sword Art Online, and technically that is an Isekai if you consider a virtual game world as another world. But the Isekai genre started to pop the fuck off. I think ReZero is when it really solidified. If you look at a map, I think it says like most watched anime in 2016, entire the globe, it's all ReZero. Now, why is it... Sorry. So then it makes sense that it is going to be lazy, cashback, and low effort because they see the success in Isekai. They see how easy it is to set up because immediately you don't even have to do background story. You don't have to like set stuff up, right? The Isekai format is get hit by a truck, get transported to another world. You can worry about the backstory. You can worry about the character, um, you know, motivations, all that stuff later on. So it's a really nice, easy cookie cutter, like boiler template that you can just use to like jumpstart your anime series. Now, it's lazy because probably there's so much like isekai that inevitably you're gonna get some lazy ones, right? And then oversaturated genre, it's just number games, right? Like, like it's just a matter of so many different isekai animes that just been used as a cash grab. That's why it seems lazy. But I think that good isekai are not lazy. They are probably still a cash grab because let's get serious. We're trying to make money, but some of them are high effort completely agree with. Isekai to anime fans is like AI Reddit stories to TikTok. It's cancer and I feel my brain cells getting Thanos by the second. So when I did a poll about a week ago, asking <laughs> okay. my viewers what- All right, let's see. Pick my next video. Disclaimer, I may or may not call it garbage. Dungeon Meshi, sign of affection, don't know. Wrong with he's healing magic, that's what the- See, Chain Soldier, I gushing over magical girls. <laughs> if that one, yo, I hope he still does a video on that. Anime I should make a video on. Of course they didn't pick the one with the best art. The yeah. romance one, or even of the course not. Ones. Guys, pick gushing over magical girls. I want to see him talk about- That's fucked up, okay. Dude, there are these people everywhere, dude. I swear to God. There are motherfuckers that are like, please watch a magical girl gushing over magical girls. I bet they all fucking sound the same. They say that shit in my fucking comment section too. Say, like, please, gushing over magical girls. I need you to watch this fucking prepubescent little girls touching each other, please. I'm like, motherfucker. Maybe. Gushing over magical girls. I want to see him talk about CP. That's too much. What the fuck? Actually, good job. What? Guys. Instead, they chose the wrong way to use healing magic. Mm. And I Peak. Actually Peak. Oh, this is versus the snake fight. Remember the one punch you did? Healing magic is about this guy called Ken, who's not the center of attention. His name is Ken? Oh, it's probably Ken Usato. I just was like, wait, his name is Ken? Attention, these two are. Kazuki and Inokami are the yeah. two smartest, hottest, best of every yes. in school. And you would think immediately that they're going to be douchebag characters because in all the shitty, low effort, lazy content, you know, high, you know, cash grab isekais, usually like the most popular or stuff like that before we get transported are like the assholes, the bullies, but they're not. And that's why this show is kind of different, even though it's doing similar things. In fact, they stand out so much, it has Ken saying, What does it say? I'm a forgettable, run-of-the-mill high school student. And honestly, he is self-admitting this. And in the anime, the anime also declares that only people who are highly competent and established in their own respective world are summoned here. But because Usato was around those two popular kids, that were very like well doing he was dragged in so the anime is like <laughs> confirming that he is just a forgettable person i don't know buddy i can name like 12 other people who fit that bill on one person 
okay, come on, leave leave the NPCs alone, right? Leave leave them alone. Name like twelve other people who fit that bill. On one particularly rainy day, Ken walks home with the other two. Yeah, we hear bell sudden, sounds. They start hearing bells. Ken the summoning. It's probably deaf. He doesn't hear shit. Out of nowhere, a magic circle summons around Kazuki and Inukami. Mm -hmm. Ken just get dragged in. There. All three yeah. get transported to every isekai setting. Same isekai map. And yes, I saw your comments. Motherfuckers come in saying, <laughs> Actually, Call Call TV, if you look around the generic isekai copy-pasted map, you can see a moat. That's right. A passage of water surrounding it. So technically, it is different. True. ...ever, and this king guy says he summoned two exceptional heroes to exceptional. fight the war exceptional. against demons. Ken... Average. Yeah. Yeah. And at this point... Sorry, let's put the laughing cue. Ha 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 ha. But at this point, you would think that, like, the king is out to, like, get us, right? Because usually in Isekai, again, they're subverting our expectation from all these trashy, oversaturated Isekais. The king and the church, they're usually trash. The royal and then the church people who summons us, they're all the evil people. But they actually care. They feel bad that we got dragged in. Ken. Yeah. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Now, if it sounds like I'm describing every isekai ever made, that's because I am. They get their magic MBTI. <laughs> okay, I, I love this clip of Conor McGregor talking to Ronaldo. <laughs> and he's just not even looking. Describing every isekai <laughs> ever made, that's okay. because I am. They get their magic MBTIs tested, and we find True. that Inokami has lightning magic, yeah. Kazuki gets light magic, and Ken... The gets the best magic, the rarest of them all. Most forgettable, run-of-the-mill high school student gets the rarest magic known... Why? Why? I thought super exceptional people are summoned here. He got dragged in, so he's non-exceptional. So is the magic system all RNG? I thought that like the element or the magic that you're given is based on like your innate, I don't know, competency that has some sort of comparison with, you know, if you're competent in the real world to get summoned or is it completely RNG? I don't fucking know. It's a man healing magic. And then he starts pulling his car. Hey, that's right. There's another healing anime where the main character uses the healing in a wrong way. I believe this is a redo of Healer, right? Yeah. Healing magic starts off like literally every other Isekai. There is nothing yeah. special about this first episode. Straight up. In fact, you can start we were memeing. Right now. We were memeing about this anime, about how basic and generic and like it just follows the fucking same template of every Isekai, right? Technically, there was no truck con, so it's a little bit different. But aside from getting summoned, having like popular people on the real world that technically should be like better than us and may even look down on us because, you know, that's what happens in like most isekais. The king and the church pope people should be evil, but they're all different, right? It should be so basic, but it's not. There's little differences here and there, even though we're following the formula. Basically, Spark notes it for you. Ken starts training with a healing master. Mm, Believe me, gross. when this shit came up, it brought a tear to my eye. It's the only reason we're watching this is because of Rose, right? I think Bernie, our community member, linked uh, this trailer and we saw Dommy Mommy and I was like, what the fuck is a generic ass isekai? Then I saw her, then I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna watch up, this. It brought a tear to my eye. You see, normally when an isekai MC gets new powers, he's like, oh f f fuck, what is this new power? I have no idea what it does. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wait, this is like fantasy video game. Yeah, you're actually strong. Wow, Kirito. Hey, Peter. Oh come on, yeah. not it. I forgot his name. It's been a long time since I've watched Family Guy. I loved him though. So I guess his point is that like every isekai just starts off the bat, bro realizes he has powers that's super OP, then immediately ascends to godhood, right? Wow. He's even the uh... Halfwing Angel? What's the theme again? It's for uh, Sephiroth, right? Oh yeah, now we're battling the gods and the devils, right? This is the natural progression of isekai. Get hit by truck, farm some low-level monsters, now we're fighting the gods. What's the end of the isekai? We get with the what girl? The fuck? No. <laughs> this part is actually true though, right? Everything so far is not true, right? He's obviously, you know, memeing on the fucking isekai, you know, formula. But at the end, Inukami, like, the senpai really wants him. But he doesn't 
doesn't seem to give a fuck because like he used to simp over her but then she turns out to be a super otaku weeb and it's like his perception of this like super popular cool like senpai is ruined so he just kind of lost all of it but there was an episode where they actually you know did you know have a little bit of bonding moment but our eyes are still on rose you wanna fuck no no bitch be gone thought <laughs> I very much appreciate. Oh, oh, who was who? Was, who are these characters? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold, who are these characters? Uh, oh, Rias. Uh, I don't know. I think this is from Monster Musume, right? I think this is the Milf girl from the Kobayashi Dragon. I think this is the Re Zero girl. And who the fuck is in the most right? What is that? Who is this? Do you guys know? Who is this girl? Why does she have Chun Li's bottom half of the body? What the fuck is this, dude? Oh my god, we need to find this isekai anime and watch it, guys. I very much- I feel like it might not be an anime, though, based on the art. I appreciate the time this anime takes to build up the main character. It's not much, but seeing Ken actually train for an arbitrary amount of time at least tells me that he worked hard for it. And so yeah. he feels more deserving when he pulls off the gamer shit like this. Just like solo leveling, right? He actually puts in the effort in, and it's a slow burn where he actually, you know, earns the levels. And, but yeah, let's, let's see the one punch part here. Deserving when he let's pulls see this. Off the gamer this shit is like a crazy this. moment. Yeah, this scene. Yeah! It's so sad we live in an age where competent writing is considered a good point to make on an anime like don't get me competent writing is a good point to make in an anime he makes a very good point this should be the norm competent writing should be the minimum threshold it shouldn't be something that we say wow amazing it has good writing it should be just expected but you know we got a shitload of trash isekais because everyone's after the cash grab You're wrong credit to the author you're great kurokata but shouldn't most non-parody anime be like this Ah, rambles of an old man. Just show me the tits already. All right. Wait, show me the tits. There are no huge tits in this anime. There this aren't. Isekai, right? There aren't. What's the most fan service we've had in this show? Fucking Inumaki Senpai touching, you know, Usato's abs? I... Ro there has barely been any Rose fan service though. If you consider her kicking you in the head fan service because you're a an M, then it makes sense. But I'm talking about like skin exposure, big ass, big titties. There's like very, I never even realized there was no fan service at all. Demon girl, okay. There's yeah, yeah, okay. The demon girl design, yes, I do agree. But it's like she only shows up for such a little time, right? Yeah, so Isaka, I don't see yeah. why there wouldn't be any. Oh, gonna get me in trouble. Yeah. Doesn't this make it look like Karu just edited a random dude that just jacked up onto his own face here? I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but this isekai actually has good characters. Yes, yeah. good and characters. You think after being all, oh, I'm just a nobody loser. No one cares about. This is where he's supposed to get bullied, right? The formula is popular kids bully the you know main character. Main character gets OP and he has a revenge story. That's like a very common theme in Isekai. Would go into a complete 180 once he gets superpowers, but no. The guy who felt invisible all his life suddenly finds a new purpose as a healer, as a support to the heroes. He doesn't really act. Support. Now, we haven't really seen the fighting yet, right? Because I think we can all imagine the title is called Wrong With You's Healing Magic, right? We've seen his physical capabilities due to the training allowed by his healing. So, like, I know he's support, but, like, is he support? I, we haven't gotten there yet. We got to let it cook. The demon battle is about to happen. We're going to see what the support can do. Like one, but it's the thought that counts. Despite having the rarest magic, Ken is still humble. He still wants to learn, and he's still afraid of he's the a good guy. danger that awaits. Anyone would. There's this scene in episode 2 that really stood out to me. Ken realizes that his body adapted well to the healing magic. Everything's mm -hmm. going great. He's jacked, he's fast, physically he's immaculate. But? But what about mentally? Sure, he's got all these muscles to boot, but as a healer, training to carry boulders means training to carry bodies. Yeah. Injured comrades. As fast as you can in the heat of war. Like in a real life situation, right? And this is what we're building up to, right? Is he mentally ready? I'd say yeah, because he's probably going to remember like every time 
that he faces an obstacle, a challenge. He reminds himself of the training, the suffering caused by Rose. And he's like, yeah, that's nothing compared to this, right? It's just like solo leveling where Sung Jimu just thinks about the statue. And it's like, oh yeah, compared to that, this is nothing. Now, we're talking about that. That's just kind of physical training, right? What about the mental aspect? I feel like Rose has pretty much made him suffer so much. She threw him into a fucking forest and say survive, right? So I feel like we are mentally also prepared for this because of what Rose has done to us. Can Ken really handle that? I don't know. Can we'll see. The mental pressure that brings. Who Maybe. The fuck thinks of this. Give healing magic to any of the Isekai boys, and they'll find a way to heal their anxiety. Fuck his depression, uh, bro. But that's not fun, right? It's not. Sorry, sorry. That, that may be fun, but what Karu is trying to say is like that shit's too easy, right? This is a delicate aspect of our main character struggling through. This like mental crisis of, oh, can I do this in a real life situation? Can pe if people really die? I need to pick who I save, right? But if it was any other isekai, they could brush that off and simply just say, haha, fun times, I'm OP. And sure, it's fine like that too. But I feel like the way that healing magic is taking us slowly, it's nice. Bro, just smile. It's introspective moments like these sprinkled throughout that make this show feel more grounded and unlike a stereotypical power yes. fantasy. I also yes, I would even say another example to say this show feels more grounded is the example of the demons being blocked by a fucking river because they don't have a bridge and they're building a bridge Every, like they're building a bridge for like two episodes because they're stuck and i was like making fun of it saying this is so dumb this is so stupid and someone actually commented saying actually during times of war you know enforcing proper flow of supply and logistics is important in war i'm like okay you're kind of making sense this show takes it very slowly this show is pretty realistic even though it is set in a fantasy setting these demons are not just teleporting everywhere and just fucking flying they need to fucking build a bridge to cross the lake. I know this is a random ass example I'm giving you, but this is one of the many examples in this anime where this isekai that seems to be following this like template of like a generic basic isekai kind of suffers to expectations by like doing little changes like how Kazuki Inumaki Senpai is actually good people. The king and the church, they're actually like caring for us, you know. The demons are a little bit more normal too. I don't know. I, I enjoy this different type of anime amongst all the isekai watching because it's a little bit more normy i'm not sure so like the way they handle the side characters inokami is an obsessive borderline perverted character who will do anything to yep. go on an adventure Why? yep she because wants to be home, here she was a sheltered rich kid who had her future set in stone kazuki we haven't seen his backstory yet, but it's small stories like these that get you invested into the characters. Mm -hmm. It establishes an emotional connection and gives you a reason to want to like them. I Kazuki is very interesting to me because he seems to, like in any other isekai, he should be the main hero that everyone simps for and he looks down on us, right? Like think about shield hero, right? That's like, there's like the main heroes and then there's us That's and everybody fucking hates us. But even Kazuki like looks up to us, right? He looks up to Usato, thinks that he's so brave. Like, how are you doing this? He comes to him. <laughs> that sounds weird. But he came to him overnight, the late night call. It was not a booty call. It was to basically sort our feelings, you know, because they're scared of going to war. And it's so, like, reasonable. It makes sense. These are high school students. They're getting fucking sent to war against these fucking demons. Kazuki is terrified, even though he is a hero. And he seeks out Usato for help because Usato seems to, you know handle everything better right I, I i really love the way that they're handling these characters it's totally different from what i expect from an isekai that seems to be just you know following the textbook invested into the characters it establishes an emotional connection and gives you a reason to want to like them i would wholeheartedly give healing magic an eight yeah eight eight point five and, 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 and this is still, like, we're not even at the good shit yet, right? We're not even at the good shit yet. We're still building up. At the end of the season, we can probably give it, like, an actual rating. But then again, it's kind of, that's like a season's rating. It's not the actual series, but minimum eight, I agree. But I don't want to. Here's why. Firstly, you oh. tell me if this makes sense. Ken drinks contaminated river. He's about to shit on it. Let's go. ...water and gets a stomach ache. He yeah. heals it. Fast yeah. forward, he's fighting a snake who injects venom into his bloodstream and he's He like, should be able to heal well, it. Joke's on you. I learned how to cure stomach aches five minutes ago. Yeah. He heals the fucking venom out of his system. Wait, to, to do a little defense, I don't know the exact details, but I remember them making a distinction on why him drinking that shitty water and trying to heal it was different from all the different healing. It was some kind of... Like, internal debuff capability. They did talk about it. 
I just can't remember the fucking details right now, but maybe the anime was capping, man. Motherfucker, that's like taking Panadol for a headache and saying you can perform brain surgery. I get the, that this is the... Okay, the jump in, like, the healing of, like, okay, you go from fucking food poisoning to fucking healing poison, right? Wrong way to use healing magic. But there is no way in hell drinking bad water equates to treating venom. What I'm trying true, to say is... True, There is no rhyme and reason to Ken's healing magic. So it ends up being a flex tape bandage for everything, and... I don't like that. They also uh, have mana in this world, but maybe, it conveniently yeah. only gets depleted once Ken finishes a fight. So my dude can spam heals on infinite, but once the fight's over... We haven't talked about the mana quality in this show yet. Like, how much... Sorry, quantity. How much mana does Ken actually have? Suddenly, I'm out. Suddenly, I'm tired. I gotta mm. go to bed. Secondly... That, those do seem a little bit like ass pulls. I agree. The comedy. It's all right. There are some jokes that got a chuckle out of me, while comedy? others left me stuck. Honestly, Inumaki Senpai, oh, I'm a fucking otaku weeb. I, I love fantasy worlds. I've been dying. Like, I, I, okay, I get it. I'm tired of the hot girl that's actually a gamer and wants to be here. It's getting pretty cringe, though. It's, it's, it's getting pretty boring. The comedy, I'm not going to get tired of Blurin slapping a girl, though. Whenever a girl tries to approach Blurin and tries to pet Blurin, the bear will fucking smack them and say, be gone, thought. I do enjoy that, though. Own faced That's just me, though. I think he'll be fine. Because you watch my videos, so you're used to it. But I think I'm funny all the time. Thirdly, yeah. the animation. There's really not much to say because it's You don't think the animation is good? It's so bright. It's so colorful. And yes, bright and colorful does not mean good animation. But I think the animation on top of that is very fluid. Don't you think so? As average as average can get. Nothing about it screams, my workers are kept in a dark, decrepit dungeon with below minimum. Okay, come on. Come on. You, you really want to fucking Jujutsu Kaisen again? You want to map a situation? You want to fucking make these workers work fucking 25 hours a day, bro? Rage. They're just normal, hopefully decently wait. Damn it! God damn it! The people, the animators making this anime have a nice work-life balance and they can actually go home to see their families after work. This is bullshit, dude. We need to fucking make these workers work harder. It's adults working in an office. That's unfortunate. Overall, unfortunate indeed. Overall, surprised me in many ways I wouldn't have imagined. Am I gonna start watching Isekai because of it? No. Why not? But I think for people who've never watched or are avoiding Isekai, this is a pretty good show to start on. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you Y'all know time. what to do. Y'all know what to do. Please give Mr. Karu or Karu a sub. Like the videos if you did. I think he made some very good points. I think the healing magic is in this like vast ocean of shitty Isekais, this oversaturated genre of Isekais. I think it comes out on top. Without being too different. And that's the thing that really amazed me. The fact that in the first episode, it's like, oh, the checklist. Okay, we're getting summoned. Okay, the church and the king is here. Okay, we get a special power. Wow, what do you know? But it's like, the little things are different about it. And it's like, oh, I never expected that. And it's like every episode, I'm like, oh, quite fast. And I'm like decently surprised by it. The... I, and I think that, like, if you... The main reason I'm watching this is just for the MILF, you know, Rose, because I, I like Rose, and it's a big mommy that like, kind of... Karu didn't really talk about the main appeal of this isekai. It's basically this this girl named Rose, right? And she's huge, and she kind of just, like, throws you around and slaps you around, and, and there's a lot of people that enjoy, you know, big women bossing them around. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, I, I definitely say check out, check out Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic.